right, so I'm out here at my dad's ranch and we need to do some welding on this gate. We're about a quarter mile away from the house. The house you see behind us hasn't been lived in in years, does not have power, and we need electricity. I'm gonna show you guys how I use the same batteries I use on all my other DeWalt tools, as well as the HTP MIG 130 to weld portably on batteries anywhere I want to. Let's go. Okay guys, so we've got the HCP MIG 130 plugged into the DeWalt DCB 1800 inverter generator. Turn the generator on. There you go, welder's on. And what we need to do is fluff out this part right here of the gate so we can put a big bracket on it. We're gonna do that with some one inch square too. So as you can see, if you lay into a bead, you are gonna over temp the machine, the generator. It's just what it is. Um, I consider it pretty reasonable for what it's doing. You turn your wire speed down, you're drawing less amperage. It'll last a little bit longer before it needs to be power cycled. So I've got the HTP MIG 130 here set at its maximum voltage setting of four. I'm running a wire speed right around two, two and a half just so that the inverter generator can keep up. And we're using an 030 flux core wire. And I know people are gonna ask, cause I'm kind of squatting right here. I'm wearing jeans treated with a fire retardant material or application, I don't know, whatever. They're, they don't light on fire. Same thing with my shirts. They're a fairly lightweight, long sleeve tee. I'm wearing an undershirt underneath. Everything I wear is a fire retardant or resistant treatment on it so that I can operate light and, and not be dying in the heat out here. What is it, about 95? 95. 95 today, but still have the protection I need, so don't worry. Ugh. So unfortunately, I really didn't have a whole lot of camera battery left. I forgot to bring batteries with me. So I'm jumping over to my phone, show you the welds. Obviously, they're not the prettiest, but you know they're gonna hold. And again, this is just a gate on a farm somewhere. We also made a second bracket and put that in for the gate opener to attach to. Again, unfortunately, this is right where my camera battery died, so I don't have footage of that, but I'll jump you back over to my phone. You can see what the end product looked like after wire brushing. It's pretty clean. All right, there's the gate project. We just got a little bit of finalization, put the solar power and the battery and all that, but none of that has to do with the welder. This isn't the only time I've tried this though. After testing it out at the shop to make sure it would work, I took it out to a customer's job just to, you know, really put it to work. It's, it's nice if you're not asking a customer if you can hook a power cord up, an extension cord to an outlet. You don't know if it's only a 15 amp outlet. The last thing I'd ever want to do is, you know, peek a welder out at 30 amps down somebody's 14 gauge or and even 16 in somebody's wall and, you know, burn a house down. Let's go check that job out. I just wanted to demonstrate that this doesn't just work with thin metal. Here I'm welding some quarter inch wall angle iron together. Of course I'm going to take this back to the shop and fully weld everything out, but this is a perfect way to you know get your final shape set on location, at the customer's house, whatever, so that you're not trying to dicker with a bunch of measurements. You know, this is just better. Then actually, just yesterday, we did a bracket job at a local restaurant where we made some supports that would hold a wine glass rack. And instead of doing the run back and forth from the shop to the restaurant, measure, fit, all of that, I figured let's take everything with us and just build it on site, which ended up working out perfectly. The job was done and the customer was happy. If you guys want to support the channel, of course, you can check the description for links to some of the products I'm using, or you could join this group of badass folks right here or supporting over on Patreon. If you just want to see some more content, hit subscribe. And of course, there in the top right, YouTube's going to have a video that it thinks you might like. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.